This ciabatta bread is one of the easiest breads that we can make at home. To make this bread, we'll need only four basic ingredients and we don't need any special equipment to make this bread and I've tried to simplify this recipe in such a way that we don't even need a proofing canvas which we usually don't have at home. And the process of making this bread is so relaxing and satisfying and the resulting bread is so good with that crispy crust and with that light and airy soft crust inside all that we make use in this recipe is a good technique and some time so let's see how to make this rustic artisan ciabatta bread in our own home kitchen So let's start by preparing our bread dough into a bowl, add in the water. Here I've used lukewarm water which is not called nor hot but just slightly warm. Then add in salt and yeast and mix until they get dissolved. And then add the flour and combine everything together. Here I'm using the rare end of this wooden spoon to mix them together. And that's it. Our bread dough is now ready. So we need to proof our bread dough for 2 hours. So wrap it with a plastic film and keep it in a warm environment or on the countertop. Usually to give more structure to our bread dough, we need to knead the dough. But as this is a high hydration dough, we can't knead the dough by hand. But during this proofing time, we are going to do a magic which will transform our dough into a well structured dough. So we are going to stretch and fold the dough in every half an hour which is so satisfying to do. So it's been half an hour and we are going to stretch and fold the dough to align the gluten strands. And now you can see if we touch the dough it's too sticky to handle. But here we have a simple trick. When our hands are wet the dough won't stick to our hands and it will make it easy for us to handle the dough. So don't forget to dip your hands in water before we do this stretch and fold. So stretch the dough and fold it onto itself and turn the ball 90 degree and repeat the same on all the four sides and you may see the dough may tear at some parts but that's okay it's because the gluten strands are not developed. Here I'm doing the same steps once again so that we are doing double folding in this first round. And now cover it with a plastic film and keep it in a warm environment or on the countertop. So it's been another half an hour and you can see our dough has risen slightly and the gluten strands are now more uniform and more aligned. And now we are going to stretch and fold it once again. So we did our second round of folding. Let's wrap it again and leave it on the counter or in a warm environment for another half an hour. And now it's the third folding or the final folding.
and now it's been another half an hour and our dough has risen well and now let's transfer this dough onto a well flowered work surface and remember our dough is still very sticky and at this point to prevent it from sticking to the surface we need to dust the work surface generously with flour and again dust the top of the dough with some more flour and now we need to stretch the dough from underneath and shape it into a rectangle and we need to take care not to deflate the air pockets completely and it's totally okay if we happen to degas a few air pockets here and there And now we need to roll it just as we roll a jelly roll. And pinch the edges to seal. And now divide the dough into three equal parts. and transfer each portion into another well flowered work surface we need to give enough space between each dough as it will expand during this time and dust the top of the dough with some more flour so that it will not stick to the cling film and now we need to proof our shaped dough for 45 minutes which is the final proofing And after the final proofing, our dough has risen well and let's transfer this on to a parchment paper. And while transferring this dough, gently stretch the dough to make it an elongated rectangular shape. And now our dough is ready to go into the oven. So carefully slide the parchment paper with the loaves onto the preheated baking stone if you have one or we can also use an inverted baking tray just as I've done here and immediately spray with some water and close the oven door and bake it 450 Fahrenheit preheated oven for 10 minutes and then reduce the temperature to 400 Fahrenheit and bake for another 12 to 15 minutes. And after baking, we'll get beautiful ciabatta bread which is golden brown in color with that crispy crunchy crust and with that crumb which is super soft full of air pockets and the bread is ultra light and airy and it's so good to slice them and to have them with some plain extra virgin olive oil or to slice horizontally and to make a sandwich and whichever way you decide to enjoy the bread i'm sure you will love the texture and flavor of this bread and I hope you will make this at home and I hope you will not only enjoy the delicious bread but also the process of making it. And if you like this video, please give your valuable thumbs up and please write to me your valuable comments. And please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love baking bread at home. And thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.